What's up everybody, it's me, Greg Miller from Kinda Funny Games, and I'm here to do another Let's Play for you. Uh, we're trying to toy around this idea of having themes every day. So Thursday would be Throwback Thursday, where we play a game that means something to us. And I thought, why not start with one of the no worst games of all time, uh, Superman. Now, if you remember Superman 64, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you have to remember this game. Uh, my story with it is simple. It's the reason I bought an N64. I saw this in an issue of Wizard Magazine, one screenshot, and I was like, I guess I have to buy an N64. And I got an N64 and waited and waited because this thing got delayed, delayed and delayed and delayed. Finally got it, started playing it, and it was the worst thing ever. Now my luck's going to be different, though. I have the Superman 64 strategy guide here from, uh, it's Brady Games, of course, I believe, right? Or just one. Brothers. No, it's Brady Games, of course. Written by Craig Wessel, who I don't know, and I don't know why I name dropped him. So we're going to start right from the beginning, play for a good 15 minutes, see if we need to continue to start it. It's, you know, yeah, I don't have a rumble pack, don't worry. In short time, your fate will be sealed. That's Brainiac, Superman. here we go. This is where it gets, it immediately gets bad from the beginning. You will never find your friends in this virtual world. What the fuck are you talking about, Lex Luthor? And he sucks him into this then portal. there's no time to waste. And here's where it immediately goes to hell for everybody who remembers this game. You now I gotta start flying, and it's this is where everybody freaks out of like this is when you oh, the kryptonite fog's there, and then all it is for the first for lots of the game is flying through rings like that one. I'll get there eventually. Probably gonna fail this initial one, but now I think you can already see why people were not a big fan of Superman 64, and it's inverted. Can I switch that thing? Uh, the controls here, restart the mission, display cinema. No. Oh, here we go. Story and controls. The story. Catch me up on the story. Lex Luthor, Trap Lois, Jimmy, and Professor Hamilton in a virtual world. Superman has no choice to enter this world to rescue his friends. Take off land. Oh, this isn't. I can't, I can't change them. I can only... Oh, Lord. All right. Uh, is this even the first one? There's one. Can I get him out of order? Yes, maybe. Or I'm just getting him really in order. All right, now I'm getting my groove. Getting my groove for what is one of the worst games of all time. All right, okay, okay, okay. See, now I'm not even hitting B right here. I'm just kind of gliding on my super juice. Like a little bit of momentum Superman had. Motherfucker. Well, I don't know what's happening. I won't lie to you guys, I'm not sure what's happening. I need to break out my Brady Games strategy guide here in a second see what the hell's going on. So Lex traps Superman in a virtual world, and rather than just kill him like Neo in the Matrix, he makes him fly through rings. Now granted, nobody knew what the Matrix was back then. Oh, oh, there we go. Ugh. And like, so imagine, like, you, now we can sit here and we can laugh at it, right? Because there's been so many great Superman games since then. But at uh, the time, I'm Greg Miller. All I've ever wanted is a great Superman game. Lex wins, and that's it. <laughs> That's the game. Oh, and I like how it says start to quit. So it's like, hey, if you just, this game you just no spent all this money waste. on, go ahead and quit it. But, I mean, it was heartbreaking on so many levels. First off, because the animated series was great. Second off, because I, I've just been waiting for a great, what, you know, at the time would have been next gen, super cool Superman game. And you finally get it, and you open it. I mean, like, I'm, don't, I was able to convince myself that I liked uh, Superman Returns for a long time. And eventually it was like the fourth DVD showing where I was like, this movie sucks. This game, I was able to immediately notice something was wrong with and it was bad. And I only played it for probably a week before I was like, no. Or a weekend maybe even, where I was like, no, I can't. This is going back to the store. Even I, Greg Miller, who bought it in a Superman shirt, can't support it. Like, and that's so saying something, right? Oh, God. Because you figure I had to stick up for Superman so many times, and then he finally gets an N64 game. Again, a, a, the game that pretty much motivated me to be like, I need an N64 and I need it now, and then wait two years because it took so long to get out. And then I get it, and it's just, it's a garbage pile. And, and then, let's not even, let's not overlook the fact that it wasn't just a bad Superman game, right? Like, it was, oh. So I don't understand if I get penalized if I just go through it, because it seems like it's just letting me go. It's not even just a bad Superman game. It's one of the worst games of all time. Like, this isn't even a game... People aren't even like, Oh, you know, it sucks that game wasn't that good. It's like, no, that was universally hailed as one of... Fuck you! How are you supposed to get all these goddamn rings in this time, amount of time? Ah, oh, fucking Jesus. I'm just gonna... Can I see... I don't even see the end ring yet! 
just cheating, being cheat. Oh, Jesus. Then there's no time to waste. It doesn't sound like Tim Daly either. But I mean, you know, like the, the salt in the wound from God, huh? I'm just like, oh, you really want this game? Not only is it bad, it's going to be the worst game of all time. And you can see that it's not... Again, let's just cheat. Let's just cheat, Superman. Because the rings are acting like I'm getting them when I'm just going past them. Is that something? Is, the, is it in the Brady strategy guide that I can just... Nope. That isn't a way to do it at all. And there's no That's, time to waste. Oh, my fuck. And like, oh, just imagine how heartbroken I was to come home from EB Games with this. Super excited. In my Superman shirt. Motherfucker. Now I just... Where am I? <laughs> what the... F what are you doing, Superman? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Man, look at that texture model, though. Yep. Uh, can I restart? Because I think restarting would probably be good. There we go. Then there's no time to waste. Yeah, there's no time to waste, Supes. We got it. Now, hold, now, I think it said R lets me break. If I hold B and R at the same time, because, oh, oh, it's just that you get this weird, am I losing a lot of time? I'm not gaining time ever, which is weird. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to get most of them. Because it seemed like I got in trouble when I skipped a few. So now we're just going to go. Good, that stopped me. Just like the, just like the story slash controls told me it would. All right, let's check, look at the manual. Let's see what fucking amazing tips it's got for the most annoying. Mm. By the way, I'm 18 pages in and I still haven't gotten to the walkthrough. They're still giving me tactics about Dark Side. Well, I mean, I I can't fucking fly through the first ring. I don't need to know how to beat the King of Apocalypse. Oh. All right. First ride, number of tasks, four. There are five rides that Luther has prepared for Superman. Each of them consists of one or more tasks that Superman must complete. What the fuck are you talking about? Ta- This isn't even the first task. Superman has to- Superman has to follow the power ring maze or the compass if you're playing in easy mode and touch to reach the first task. Easily navigate the maze, don't fly at full speed, and always look ahead to see which direction the maze is turning. When you reach the end of the maze. So don't fly at full speed, because it's so easy then to not no fly at full waste. speed, because it's B. B is the fly button. You piece of garbage. Not serious. Now we're not even going to fucking tell you about little Greg playing the game. Now it's time for big Greg to get in here. Fuck some shit up his last son of Krypton. Get up! I don't know. Does that count now? It's just like he's... Look at him. Look at him. It's like... Oh, it's just like, how could you make... How could you... Oh, he just looks so weird. Like, this is like... He's just slowly putting his arms out every so often. Oh no. Oh. 47 fucking seconds already. What are you talking about? I remember that Andrew Bennett's bro brother beat this game. I was like, I can't believe you stuck at that. Then there's no time to waste. And it's not like flying's getting easier. I think the best best I've done at flying it so far was the second the second one I did. Yep, there we go. And it uh, there's not. Ooh, man, ooh. See, I think if it wasn't for the rings, the game wouldn't have been so bad. It probably wouldn't have been long though. It probably would have been like 20 minutes. Because once you're out there, and you're, I mean, it's still bad when you're out there and you're fighting and you're throwing stuff. Like, I'm not wrong, right? The rings, no t time's not counting up ever, is it? Tim, is it a, no, okay. Thank you. So this is one long ass shitty race that I gotta fucking fly through. It's gotta make me curse too, I don't wanna curse. But that's what the Superman game does to you. Whoa! 
Can you, I mean, like, I know that theoretically this is all in the virtual world. That's why there's kryptonite fog and they thought they could get away with that because Titus is French and thought they could get away with that. But imagine if you, if Superman was real, but he really flew like this. You just saw him coming and he's like spreading his legs and his arms like a psychopath in the air. You would not feel safer that this man has the ability to crush your planet pretty much. Oh, fuck you. No! Oh, we were so close. We were so close on that one. Then there's no time to yeah, waste. Yeah, there's no time to waste, Superman. And what do you mean there's no time to waste? Uh, like, oh, oh. I mean, Lex really hasn't done a great job of setting up to Superman what the hell's happening in this world. Like, I'm sucking him into this portal, this virtual world. First off, what does that even mean? Like, I, I know it's easy in a, like, a virtual world, but I mean, like, at what point can you walk people through a giant, like, scar starred gate teleporter and have them sucked into this thing? Ooh, okay. All right. See, I feel like I'm doing better on time. It's, time's got to be going up, hasn't it? Maybe I want to get, like, three or four rings in a row or some shit? Oh, this is not enjoyable. And the funny thing about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that I pitched it to Tim that I should play this entire game. And now I'm just like, oh, has it been 15 minutes yet? <laughs> oh, I know it hasn't. Oh, I've checked the clock a few times. Fuck. Now it's slow and steady wins the fucking race. Get in there, Superman. Did it. Lip oh. Now I'm kind of a ringmaster, I feel like. And not like the Stone Cold Steve Austin wrestling persona or the Jerry Springer movie. Like, I feel like I got a good... Me and Superman got a good vibe with these rings right now. Ooh, ooh. Just as I say, it, he fucking goes all cockamamie. Cockamamie. It's a hard word to say. Tim, that's impre- oh fuck. Forget it, I was gonna ask for a pat on the back, but I immediately screwed it up. The sound effects. The sound effects are pretty dope, man. It's cause I don't have the rumble pack of it. And they, they delayed this game for so long, and this is what they came up with. Here's Superman, a great animated series, a cool universe to build on. I should have just blown past it. Um, I, I, and like, this is a two minute race, if you didn't remember. So I'm glad that I won't have to redo this whole effing thing again. Then there's no time to yeah, waste. Yeah, I know, Superman. And, I, and I, I won't lie to you, I'm proud of myself as a kid for not beating this game. Because I could have I could have sat there and just been like, I love Superman, so I'm going to do it no matter what. And it's like, no, you didn't deserve, uh, granted, you didn't deserve my money, Titus. Like, you got, they got everything they deserved in the end of just everyone hating this game. But I'm glad I, I didn't fanboy out. It's like, no, nah, like, I didn't sit there and defend it. You know what I mean? Because again, with Superman Returns, I sat there and I defended that movie for a long time before I had to wake up and be like, nah, man. Movies like Colin, it sucks. All right, we're back in. This is how Superman got his groove back at ring races. See, it's all about just not having fun. It's all about just keeping it slow and steady. Skim the water right here. 
like the eagle in the forest. Kaka. Oh, come on. All right. I think that's like the first time I missed this. That's pretty cool. See, that's a bullshit fucking placement right there. They're trying to get you to screw up there. Another one. But I'm Superman. I'm smarter than you on that one. Oh, well. Bumped off track a little. Okay, okay, okay. Get the nose out of the dirt. That red ring should be popping up any goddamn second now. Where are you at, red ring? There's still more. I can see them curving right here. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> this was the game. This is what you paid for, and that's 15 minutes. I don't have to play any more Superman 64. But, I mean, again, I'm only 33 pages into the strategy guide there. There's a lot more coming up. I could have gone to the dam, it looks like. It's, it's frustrating and annoying, and I hate Superman 64. I'm glad you watched this, though, on Throwback Thursday. Remember, here on Kinda Funny Games, we post Let's Plays each and every day from each and every one of us, uh, enjoying different games, doing different things. Just subscribe to our channel, you see all of it. Make sure you donate to our Patreon at patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames. Why? Because we quit our jobs. I don't work for IGN anymore. I have no income outside of what I do for Kinda Funny. So it's me... Like the dog, he will die if you don't. If you, he won't have any food. And I, because I mean, if I don't have any food, I'm gonna eat the dog. So like, that's that's the the food chain in the house now. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new let's play. But until then, it's been a pleasure to serve you.